are traveling to another dimension, not like any you've seen, where lands are dry and water is scarce. In this, yet another dimension of extraterrestrial, on the planet of Altair 4, encounter the likelihood of Mr. and Mrs. White's fatal experience. You are now in the Twilight Zone. What is up, everybody? It's your wacky inflatable whore gamer, aka Antoine Thomas, and welcome your beautiful faces to Let's Play The Third Wish. Let the monkey's paw orientate your every waking life. The Third Wish is a game about the wishes, dreams, and overwhelming greed, consuming an individual with the ability gifted by the monkey's paw. A man, wife, and son working in a desolate universe where water is little to none, till a long-time friend drops off a killer gift. Without further ado, let's get into it. I did not know they had voice acting. I think you can turn it off, but I'm not going to because that's kind of cool. Ah, good morning, my friending. I uh, watch out, bitch. Uh, good, good morning, my friending. Good morning. Off to another day at the Maw and Megan's factory. With luck, I'll get promoted soon. Their mother would be very happy. Watch out, bitch. Watch out for sand cats on your way to the factory. I will. See you tonight for a game of chess. I look forward to it. Uh, the sand cats. Chess. Back to work. Uh, the sand Are cats. The sand cats back again? Yes, I saw one on the North Ridge yesterday. I'll be careful. You'll be dead. Just kidding. Just be careful. Um... That sounded like foreshadowing. I've been practicing, you know. That's good. Your mother thinks I can't beat you. Never argue with mother. Alright, back to work, bitch. Goodbye. Bye. All right, time, time to get to work and earn more moisture credits. Moisture credits? Ugh. How to play F1, left click, walk, use items or character, right click, look at the item, uh, walk around and explore areas and look closely for things to interact with. Things could change over time. Inventory, select inventory by pushing mouse to top left of the screen. Left click, select an item to use in the world, yellow outline, right click, look at an item maybe more than once or clear an item you selected. So if this is another point and click game. I know I've actually been playing these a lot lately, but I've been Not kind of enjoying them. Rest. I got work to do. Better check the shed. Yeah, yeah, you son of a bitch. Time to go to the shed. Actually, before we go to the shed, I want to look around a little bit more. Distant equipment. Okay. Moisture extractor. Ugh. Everything's moist. Okay, hold on. Let's go back to the shed, because apparently I can go ever anywhere. was not expecting to have this much freedom in, the, in a game. Whoa. Locker? It's locked. Forget where I put the key. Busy. Otherwise, I'd be tempted to fire up a classic. Got the old TV going. Status generator offline. No power means no moisture extraction. And that means no moisture credits. The turbine powers the moisture extractors. Oh, okay, so now I got things to Pressing do. Pressing the button does nothing. Turbine switch. Pressing the button. Okay, press the button to nut it. I know, I'm not a fucking idiot. I should use it with something. I have a big brain for a reason. I should use it with something. Probably a hammer. I got my tools. Maybe if I could get to the goddamn locker, I'd be able to get it. But I have no way of getting to the locker. Okay, well, here's the overlook. Or the overlook, I think it said. <laughs> nope. Um. Alright, you son of a bitch. You, li you guys listen here, okay? I'm a. Professional, I'm a professional cat fighter. All right, I'll, we'll, go, we'll go fight this bitch. Come here, bitch. This is as close as I'm getting to that thing. No, we're gonna get closer. Okay, never mind. I guess I can't fight it. All right, well, you lucky. You, you hear me? You, you son of a bitch. You're lucky I ain't fucking with you. Cause I'll kill you. All right, I'm moving. Sayonara, bitch. Okay, well, uh, let's go to the bluff. Oh no, I can't. I physically can't. Okay, to the turbine. Do 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 do. Turbine breaker trip right back off again. Okay, so it doesn't work. It's good to know. It's good to know. What's why do why are we why do we need it? Why are we doing moisture? What's the what's the point of the moisture? Got it. Got what? 
Oh, my tools. That that's it. Okay, cool. I'm glad. God, we 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 figure that out. My sawzall. My locker key. Oh, you fucker. Not much else in there. I travel light. I forgot you can right click on things to inspect them. Not much else. Okay, so I got a key and a sawzall. Sawzall? Now I can open up this fucking locker. Fuck you, game. It's unlocked. You got damn zombie. bit. My revolver. Oh, pff, all right, cool. It's empty. I got a gun now. <laughs> all right, though, that's that. Let's put the nah. All right, we'll go fuck yourself. So what's a sawzall? No point. Okay. Near a rock. Oh, that's gonna kill him. Uh oh. Let's make this shot count. Steady, steady. That landslide gave him something to think about. Hopefully, they stay clear of the area a while. Okay, well, I didn't kill him. I thought I would. I thought that would like be a consequence or something. All right, well. Chewed cable. Yeah, it's all tore up. The generator is off. No power is going out. Well, yeah, probably because the there's generator a generator is off. No f fucking chewed wire right there at my feet. Damn, it's all. Tore. Son of a bitch! God damn it! All right, what's this? Can I do that? I can. Getting too old for this shit. There we go. I cut out the damaged part of the cable. There we go. Uh, nice. Hey. Right. There. I've patched and repaired the power cable. Go. Cool. All right, let's go back. The breaker. Wait, that's new. Kicking around the dirt. Son of a gun. A power coupling. Sandcats have been busy. I attached a coupling to the end of the cable. Cool. Glad that the that, that God I saw that. Son of a gun. Cool. Alright, well. I attached a There we are. There we go. Good as new. Probably. Big dick energy. The generator is off. No power is going out. All right, generator, you better work. The generator bitch. is back online and generating power. Nice. Pressing the button. Pressing the button does nothing. Good. The turbine powers the moisture extractors. So now I just need to figure out this turbine situation, which I have no fucking clue. I'm gonna figure out. The turbine breaker is reset and staying put. Should be fine. Oh, that's that's all I had to do. Okay, cool. Well, that was. <laughs> Too easy for old Antoine Thomas, old 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 Twan, old, uh, whatever the fuck, Mr. Willikers over here. The turbine is back online and generating power. Nice. Finally, my work day is over. Time to relax. Time to go night night. Hello, father. Time for chess. Are you gonna die, Herbert? Fucking Herbert, Herbert the pervert. He's, this is his young. This is what. This is him young okay. before Family Guy. Father and son were once again at chess. The former, who tried his best to be competitive and now employed radical strategies out of desperation, was always beaten by the latter. Damn. I got destroyed <laughs> in chess. Checkmate! I win again! <laughs> you said a bit. Is this even fun for you anymore? Never mind, dear. Perhaps you'll win the next one. Your friend Wealth will be here soon. If he shows. That's the problem living way out here at the ass end of space. Mr. White's old friend, Wells, enters oh. the house, and they all gather round for galactic tales from the old space trader. How long have we known one another? Long time, Bill, long time. <laughs> okay. It's been 30 years. You headed off as a galactic trader, and I set up as a moisture farmer. Wow, a galactic trader. Uh, uh... I like to see space. I should like to travel the galaxy myself someday. Better where you are now. To see the rings of Antares and the moons of Corellia. Anything but this dusty old rock, right? What was it you started telling me the other day? This is like Something Tatooine and Star Wars. Paw. Nothing, leastwise, nothing worth hearing. Monkey's paw. Oh, the paw. Well, it's just a bit of what you might call magic. Perhaps I could do with a drink. 
Okay, let's get some drinks. Time to get a little crunked, if you know what I'm saying. Mrs. White. It's rude not to talk to our guest. I already did, bitch. Let's see what Tails Wells has for us. Okay, well, y'all just fucking sack. Got it. I have a glass of. All right, here you go, bitch. I should use a drink, please. Steady my nerves. Here you go, you fucking bitch. I need bitch. something more to take. All right, well, fuck yourself. Coming right up. Hey, here you go, bitch. Thank you. This will hit the spot. <laughs> now, God where were it. we? Wait, can I, hold on. Can nah, I get... Nah. I can't get myself a drink? Ah, oh, that's depressing. About to pull. Look at it. It's just an ordinary little mummified paw. Oh, yes. he brought it. Who that's not good. A thing? I don't know, mother. It's kind of neat. He brought the paw. What's so special about it, eh? What's so special about it? First off, Son it's of from bitch. old earth, somewhere in India. So it's hundreds of years old. Story goes that an old fakir put a spell on it. Go on. Yes, please go on. The fakir wanted to the show that fakir. fate ruled people's lives, and those that <laughs> interfered risked consequences. So, what was the spell? The fakir cast a spell, granting three wishes to anyone who possessed the paw. Ooh, you really believed that the fakir had a paw? You really believe it grants wishes? Wells, did you use the paw? Were your wishes granted? I did, and... My wishes were granted. And has anyone else used the paw? A man prior to me had his three wishes, yes. I don't know what the first two were, but the third was for death. That's how I got the paw. I need another drink. Okay, don't worry, man. I got you. I, I'm, I'm pretty good at, at making drinks myself. Right, I'm, right a profession, I'm a professional. I'm a professional cocktail drinker. Okay, I, I like I like to mix whiskey and maybe a dash of lemon and just a whole bunch of cocaine. And then you know what? There you go. I call it my atomic death. Dulls the memories of this nasty business. Now, where were we? Uh, if you had your wishes. If you could have more wishes. If you had your if wishes. If you had your wishes, why do you keep it? Fancy, I suppose. I don't know. It's like uh, it's like the the ring from the Lord of the Rings, where it's like you you keep it and then you just it's, it's your place. You just you just have to keep it. You just gotta keep it. You can nobody else can have it. Type shit. If you could have more wishes, would you? I don't know. I just don't know. After a few moments of silent reflection, Wells takes the paw and flings it across the room. Damn thing should be destroyed and thrown in the trash. Yeah, so, yeah, it's... That, I guess it's not like that. I want it, bitch. If you don't want it, give it to me. I won't. I intend to destroy it. Okay, well, I'm gonna get the paw, bitch. Got it. I threw it away. If you keep it, don't blame me for what happens. How do you do it? How does it work? You just hold it and use it and make a wish aloud, but I warn you of the consequences. You think you might wish me an extra pair of hands? Working this farm is hard work. Or a job promotion for me? Damned fools. If you must wish, wish for something sensible. With that, Wells said his goodbyes and once again cautioned his friend to destroy the paw as he left the house. Oh. That's what will you wish for, Father? Yes. What will you wish for? A bigger dick. I don't know. Oh, I can give it? Ooh. I don't know what to wish for, and that's a fact. Nah. Won't work. Okay. I was like, oh, to kind of give it to them, and that would be like the consequence of the situation. Nah. First, I need a drink. Uh, Age one has been going at it for too long. I needed an atomic death before I go out into the death. Oh, I had to go talk, communicate with them. Duh. Uh, what should I wish what for? What should I wish for? You could wish for an end to the drought. Maybe, but the company would just find another way to make us earn money for them. That's true. Suggestions? How much is left on the farm? It's not a lot, is it? About 200 water credits. Not much. Couple seasons. Oh, so we create these machines so that we can actually keep ourselves alive because those are, oh, okay. So they're like water, like moisture collectors. They collect moisture and turn into water 
so that we can have something to drink and then we use that water to exchange for food and other things. Okay, I see now. Thoughts? A million water credits. May as well go big. It seems to me I have all I want. We're happy, right? Yes, we are. Yeah, goodbye, bitch. What up, son? What do you think I should do with the monkey power? What do you think? From the Father, wish to be Star System Chancellor to begin with. Then you have all the power you ever need. I have all the power I need or want. This man just is very happy with his what life. What would you wish for? Me? I'd wish to be famous and rich. I don't know what to wish for, and that's a fact. Anything, Anything else? Anything else? What if you paid off the farm? You'd be happy then? Hmm. I don't know what to wish for, and that's a fact. It seems to me I've got all I want. But I've made a decision. Tell us. Yes. What will you wish for? I wish for 200 water credits. Ah! It moved, as I wished it twisted in my hands like a snake. Well, I don't see any money. How anticlimactic. Never mind, no harm done. But it gave me a shock. Well, dear, I'm off to bed. Me too. Good night. I'm not the just gonna leave it on the floor, huh? around the breakfast table and joked about the tales of old space traders. They felt a little silly, but had an entertaining evening. Herbert left for work, and Mr. and Mrs. White had a rare afternoon away from the labor of the moisture farm. That thing moved in my hand. I'll swear to it. You thought it did. We all got a little carried away. It's still on the, the floor. Moment. It's been there every, uh, all night. What's the matter? There's a strange man outside. Looks like a company uniform. Let's see what he wants. Probably here to complain about quotas again. Am I just gonna leave the paw on the floor? I was asked to call. I come from Maw and Megan's. Is anything the matter? Has anything happened to Herbert? Is Herbert dead? Hold on, nah. Okay, never mind. Let me go to the shed. Nah. Okay, well, fuck you guys. I'm, I guess I'm gonna talk to this weird dude. Let's not jump to conclusions. Let's not okay? jump to conclusions. I'm sorry. Is he hurt? Badly hurt, but he is not in any pain. Oh, thank God. Uh, he's dead. That's why he's not in any pain. He, he, don't worry, madame. He isn't in any pain because, in fact, he is dead. <laughs> is he hurt? What happened? He was caught in the machinery. Oh, God. No. Caught in the machinery. Yes. Uh, what now? What now? Tell me. The company wished me to convey their sincere sympathy with you for your great loss. I beg that you will understand that I am only their servant and merely obeying orders. Orders? What orders? I was to say that Ma and Megan's disclaim all responsibility. They admit no liability, but in consideration of your son's services, they wish me to present you with a certain sum as compensation. How much? Two hundred water credits. Oh my god! Two hundred? Two hundred? In a company cemetery two miles distant, Mr. and Mrs. White buried their only son. As the days passed, with hardly a word exchanged, denial led to acceptance and finally dull resignation. We killed our son for only 200 water credits. I'm not sure how much that is, but like Jesus, doesn't sound like a lot. Nah. Nah, it only killed my son. That's about it, but we're still keeping it. We're keeping his decoration now. Aren't you cold? Aren't you cold? It's colder for my son. Nah, he's nice and warm in the dirt. It's all good. It was a nice funeral. He's gone and in the ground. Yep, with the animals, the bugs eating out his flesh. It was an accident. The paw, the monkey's paw. Where is it? What's the matter? The paw. I want it. What are you talking about? I only just thought of it. Why didn't I think of it before? Well, think of think what? Think of what? The other two wishes. We've only had one. Was that not enough? Go get the paw and wish our boy alive again. 
I'm pretty sure that's not how that worked. It would be like the pet cemetery where he would arise, but he would start killing everyone. Uh, I will not. I will not. You will. You have to. We had the first wish granted. It will work. It's been a week, guy. Dang it. I couldn't tell you this before, but I saw Herbert before the funeral. The machinery. You wouldn't recognize him. I'm his mother. Do you think I fear the child I nursed? Get the paw. Get it now. Do I have a... Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Okay, well. Nah. <laughs> nah. I'm gonna wish my dead son back to life. Yuck, God. yuck, yuck. Alright, well. I don't know what to wish for in that. Okay, shut up, bitch. Wish. This is foolish. Wish. Now my wife's gonna die. I wish our son alive again. Ugh. Time passed in silence, with the two just standing there. The old man relieved nothing had happened. The old woman looking hopefully out the window. What's that? It's the wind. Sandstorm kicking in. It's Herbert. It's Herbert! For God's sake, don't let it in! I'm coming, Herbert! Wait, no, wait, don't. Nah. Okay, well, time to go watch her son eat her alive, eat her, eat her wife open. alive. It's jammed. I'm coming, Herbert! Stop. It's not Herbert. Help me open this. Stop. It's not Herbert. Where the wind is. Nah. I wish our son dead again. Herbert? Herbert? There's nobody there. What? Altair 4, a planet 17 light years from Earth containing one Mr. and Mrs. White, who tempted fate and made light of consequences, and in the process learned a terrible lesson. A lesson Don't wish your dead people back to life. They'll so come out and try and kill you. Tonight, Mr. and Mrs. White learned the most terrible lesson of all. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> Alright, well, the third wish. Alrighty then. <laughs> that was definitely a, a a different experience. I don't know how to, how to explain that one. It it was it was an intriguing story and it kept me in 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 the want. It kept me wanting to continue into Oh yeah, this is an ad adaptation from the short story called The Monkey Paw by W.W. W. Jacobs in 1902. Um Anyway, um I I I, I this was an intriguing game. I kind of like thought there would be a little bit more when it came to the horror aspect or even in story because it was mainly just a story about hey you, you got a monkey paw and in the end you ended up wishing for something that you probably shouldn't have wished for and now there was a demon your son died and now a demon came out to try and kill you and murder your asshole but like that was that this game was made in two weeks for the the game jam that was going on for 2023 i don't remember what the game jam was um for two weeks just straight working on a game it, it turned out really good uh, i think they did pretty pretty well in the story wise and continuously trying to keep up with a story and the game and, and the, the the way you have to solve each puzzle it's it's, it's good what i would have liked to see was and if they do wish to continue this story what i would have liked to see was um either a, 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 a another ending where you can open the door and it turns bad it turns sour or there's more to it than just I wish for our son to be dead again because I, I was I was really hoping that he, something was going to cut break in and then he would ask be like I wish that it was dead and then it would just collapse or something crazy like that because um, it was always it, it, the, the entire time it was just work work oh cool found something oh all right well now it's gone it wasn't as much as oh cool I found something I'm gonna fuck with it and see what happens oh I fucked with it something bad happened oh let's try it again oh shit He's alive. He's gonna try and break us down. Oh, he gets in. Damn, I wish he were dead. Kind of that make makes sense. Um, the voice acting was brilliant. Um, like sweet, sweet juices. 
uh, it, it made my ears holy of holies. It was, it was, it was great. Um, but yeah, that's, that was it. That was the third wish. If you guys did enjoy this Let's Play, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also like, because I always appreciate it. Uh, the sport is amazing, as, of course, as always. And hopefully you guys can bear with me because I'm trying to keep up with the posting as much as I possibly can. But you know how life is. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Tis the life. But again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in another Let's Play. Adios. And goodbye.